Alright ladies and gents, our 15 minutes are up and it looks like we got some pretty good lipstick extraction from our napkin pieces. Our chromatography plate is all prepared. Now we have to somehow get the lipstick solvent mixture from our test tubes onto our chromatography plate. And the way we do this is with these little glass tubes called capillary tubes. Now the capillary tubes are just small hollow glass tubes with a very small diameter. And because of their small diameter, when you place them in a liquid, the liquid will actually cling to the inside of the tube and essentially crawl up the inside of the tube due to capillary action. The, the fact that the, the solvents are, are essentially adhesive and cohesive with each other allows them to essentially work against gravity up the tube. Very similar to how capillary action will move our solvents up our chromatography plate and essentially spread our different components of our lipstick across the plate. So to do this, let me show you how you do it. First we have to insert our little capillary tube into our test tube. And you'll see as we take it out, see it sucked up some of the lipstick. And then going to essentially dot it onto our plate. And we want to be very, very careful. We're going to hold our capillary tube perfectly, perfectly perpendicular to the plate and then just barely touch it to the plate. And you can see how it essentially spreads out on the plate. Now we want to let it dry completely before we apply any more. And the reason for this is, is that if we don't let it dry completely that it will spread all over the plate and you won't get good results. So we're going to leave that for now and then we're going to do that with our suspect sample with our second tube. So we're a separate tube for each. As you can see. Just insert it. And we're going to dot it exactly on the same line. Like so. Essentially in the middle. Same sort of thing. Just very gently touch it to the line. Let it dry completely before you apply another sample. And then we're going to do the same thing with our second suspect sample. So, capillary tube in. Remove. And then once again, right onto the line. Now, we want to be very careful not to press too hard onto the plate because it will actually scrape off the coating, which will throw off our results. We want to do this at least 10 dots per sample in the exact same spot to make sure we have a, a nice sample or a nice amount of our lipstick on in each spot. So at this point, Crime scene is probably dry. So we can apply another dot, once again, right in the same spot. Very gently and very quickly. And do that over and over again. So we'll hit pause right now and uh, while I do the rest, and then we'll pick up once the spotting is done. Should just take a couple of minutes.